Hi everyone, it's Becca. I'm here to show you another Halloween card. Um, I got an awful stomach flu yesterday, so I took yesterday and today off, so I figured while I was sitting at home, I might as well try and do a tutorial and make a card. So, it's going to be a really simple Halloween card. I used the Doodle Charms uh, cartridge. This is the cartridge that I used for my image. And on page 121, there's this little spider here. And I cut out the shadow feature at 2 inches. So that's what I used for my image. And then I made a pinwheel. So, um... This is a five and a half by four and a quarter card. And then I have this piece of paper here. Now this is five and a quarter by four. And this one here is three and three quarters by five. So those are the three layers that I'm using. Um, the two back pieces are cardstock, but uh, the top piece is from this uh, Graphic 45 Happy Haunting uh, pack. This is just, I got this a while back, but it's just gorgeous, gorgeous images. So that's where I got the paper from. So, and on the other side of the paper that I use, it's got like all these um, vintage, oh sorry, these vintage design images. So, really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere these together. Um, I inked all the edges with uh, Vintage Photo uh, Distress Ink from Tim Holtz. So I already did that. And so I'm just going to go ahead and adhere them on. So there's that, and now I'm going to add uh, some purple ribbon to the center. Like so, and then I'm just going to tape the backs. And I'm not going to add um, a knot or a bow to this at all. I'm just going to leave it as is because my pinwheel that, oh that was really crooked. Uh, the pinwheel that I made is uh, quite big, so, yeah. Alright, so I made this pinwheel and then I glued the little spider on. And so I, I just added two little googly eyes for his eyes and then I drew a little smile to make him really cute. So to make this pinwheel, all I did is I took um, a strip of 12 inch paper, um, I made it, this one is one and a half inches, I scored it every quarter of an inch, and then I glued the two ends together, which um, you can't even really see the seam here, but I glued the two ends together, and then what you do is you, because um, it will look like just like a big circle, so you would push them down. And then it would push like this and you put a dot of glue in the middle and it holds it all together. So if you want a tutorial on that, just let me know. But that's the gist of it. So um, he's going to go right here and then I just glue the spider. And then I use the My Pink Stamper. Uh, this is the, I believe it's the uh, Spooky Puns. This is the Spooky Pun set and it's, uh, set and it's got like... Trick or Tweet, Best Witches to You, Boo, Very Scary, Spooktacular, Sweets for the Sweets, all sorts of really cute sentiments. So I just used the Happy Halloween one, um, but before I put that on, I'm just going to go ahead and add this to the card. So there's that, and then I have my little spider on my pinwheel, and then the Happy Halloween is what I... Uh, I used to, uh, uh, the sentiment that I used, that's what I'm trying to, 
Let's see. So that's going to go right here. And I'm going to put it flat on the paper. And that's just going to go right here. And so all I did is I just cut out the sentiment and then I used my corner rounder to round the edges. And then I backed it with blue. So then this one here, I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue. It's just easier since it's so, it's a, uh, a pan wheel. And so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glitter to this, um, to the spider. And then uh, this will be done. So it's just a really uh, simple, cute card. So this is my card. It came together um, really quick and simple and it, I think it turned out really, really cute. And so I hope you guys are all having a great day. And if you have any questions at all or if you want me to do a tutorial on this pinwheel, uh, just leave a comment below. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.